Okay, so the next thing you want to look at is putting in um, figures in documents or images or illustrations. So a figure refers to any illustrative photograph or diagram that you might put in. So you can see here, I already have one in here. Um, I've inserted a photograph here from um, an article by Veterinary Advances. So um, what I'm going to do is laying that out, I want to make sure that it's appearing like this. Don't be tempted to put, to try and put your document um, with the text wrapped around it. I'll just show you what that looks like. So if I take um, size and position and I'm text wrapping, currently it's in line with text, but if I put it say um, square and click OK, you can see now I have this image here with the text around it. My advice is not to do that because it just makes it very hard to format your document um, correctly. So I'm going to press um, Command and Z to undo it. Um, Control and Z will Control and Z will also undo it in on a PC. So I have my um, illustration here. In terms of in putting in a caption on them, for um, figures, the caption is traditionally put at the bottom of the image. Again, I've just typed this in while I was doing it, so I knew what the figure was referring to. But now I want to go back and actually put in a, um, use a tool in Word to put a caption on this so that if I then come along and put in a new image, this will automatically resize, rename itself to figure two instead of me having two figure ones. So it takes a bit of time to set this up at the start, but then it makes format in your document much easier afterwards. So I'm going to go to insert and I want to put in a caption. It wants to know what type of caption. Um, this is a figure, I could also make it a table or an equation, but it's a picture, so figure is what we want. Then I'm going to type um, it here. So I have some text here. Actually, I'm going to copy that text, it would be handy. So let's uh, hit Command and C or Control and C to copy that. Go back, insert caption. So now I don't need to put, um, I don't need to type figure one because that's, that's there already. I've got double space there, I don't want that. Okay, so that's my figure, that's the text in. It's going to go below the selected item, that's where I want it, that's grand. The numbering is formatting, auto caption and so on. So I click OK. So you can see it's appeared here now, so I can get rid of what I had manually typed in. Now you can see it's quite small. That's because in this particular um, setting in Word, the, it's putting in um, the caption as quite small. So I can tell it that I want to change that. So see over here to the right of my headings, I have a styles pane and it's telling me my current style is a caption. And if I look down here, it'll give me the options for all the various styles in it. What I want to do is change this style. So I want to modify the caption style. I get this pop-up box and I'm going to make it from size nine to size 12, which is the same as the rest of the text. Okay. And then I'm going to automatically update and click OK. So now I have um, a bigger caption here. Makes it easier to read. The other thing is um, it's good for you to cross-reference your figures and images in the text. So if you have this picture in here for a reason, you can tell the reader by putting in a cross-reference where it's relevant. So in this case, I have a picture of a self-inflating resuscitation bag. I've, descri I've discussed what they are further up the document. So I've said, attach a self-inflating resuscitation bag at the end of the ET tube. Okay, so how do you, I want to put in a cross-reference here. I'm telling the reader, if you don't know what a self-inflating resuscitation bag is, go and look at figure one now and it'll make it clear to you. So I want to insert, this time I want to insert a cross-reference and I want to know a cross-reference to what. It defaults to paragraph number. It's not a paragraph I want this time. It's a figure. So I click on my list up here. Then it wants to know, do I want the entire caption? No, I only want the label and number, okay? So I'm going to click that, insert as a link. I don't want it to link, so I'll turn that off. If I left that ticked, it would um, mean you could hop around the document. It's only going to be a short document. For which caption, I only have one so far, so figure one. Insert that and close, okay? And you can see now, if I go back to that point, um, I now have figure one inserted in here. It's again considered good practice to put your cross-references in brackets. So someone reading through this will see when they get here, okay, this is what, it, now is a good time to look at figure one to see what this bag looks like. Again, you'll notice it has a capital um, F, that's fine, that's considered normal in terms of how the how Word lays out the cross-reference, so I'll leave that as it is. If I came along and put in another figure up here, I'm going to do that now in a minute, 
to show you what will happen then is this will automatically update to figure two and the heading here will change to figure two as well. So my next video I'm going to show you how to print a second image and then watch these automatically update themselves. Okay.